Hello, this is Jonathan Hunt from Grace Episcopal Church in Medford, and we want to chronicle what we are doing to uh, be energy efficient and convert our incandescent lights in the sanctuary to high efficiency LEDs. We are working with, we have these 300 watt incandescent bulbs that are on dimmers that we've struggled to find a solution for to replace. And we've been looking um, online, they don't make a CFL that's dimmable, that's that size. Um, and we really need at least 300 watts equivalents of light, um, if not more, because uh, as it is, our sanctuary is not bright enough, particularly on a cloudy day, um, to read the hymnals and the prayer book. So we have come up with a creative and innovative solution uh, through our building committee that will um, that we are we have replaced all of the hanging fixtures in our sanctuary, and I'll show you those in a little bit, um, with this awesome uh, homemade fixture uh, that we've made that is safe and uses all UL listed parts. So, how do you get 300 watts equivalent um, with LEDs? You uh, make a internal lamp fixture. And here we have, this is going to end up having six 60 watt equivalent LED bulbs. These are the Philips um, A19 bulbs, the Endura LED 10 waters um, from uh, Philips that they won the L prize. And these produce um, a little bit more than 60 watts equivalent of light using only 10 watts. And we put these bulbs in to this fixture um, by screwing in just like a normal socket. Um, the basic components are we have a uh, adapter to go into the standard light socket. We have a shaft uh, which is made out of metal um, and a coupling. And then we have um, two, um, we have uh, double um, ceramic lamp sockets that are fed through the lamp pipe into the inside and then they're wired inside. Um, you want to have the coupler up here so you can wire the socket to the, um, these sockets. So you can wire the uh, lamp part to the sockets below. And then we put those together and we have the retaining nuts to help keep it um, the nice and firm and so it doesn't twist. Uh, these were made uh, by our building committee, um, particularly Jim Pearson um, and Jonathan Hunt, myself. And then we just screw in the six bulbs. Actually, you want to start with um, three bulbs to screw in to the fixture um, so that you can then screw the whole fixture in and then you screw in the remaining bulbs. Right now, I'm going to take a break and screw in the rest of the bulbs and show you the final product. All right, we are back. Um, I've screwed in all six bulbs. And you can see um, the fixture does take up some space, but this is to go in a hanging cylinder um, that is closed with glass. It's not fully enclosed. It has venting both on the top and the bottom, which is necessary for certain types of bulbs like these that need to not be in a closed um, fixture. These bulbs, you can't see that quite well here, are 940 lumens, fully dimmable, 10 watts, 2700 Kelvin, um, which is a warm white. Um, and, they all, and, and, and they're a great bulb. We've been very happy with them. And they should last us 20 to 30 years in our sanctuary, um, if not longer. So we hopefully we'll never have to replace another one of these um, again at Grace Church. Uh, we were able to do this project with help from the Episcopal Diocese of Massachusetts in uh, terms of a green grant. Uh, and we have been working on this for the better part of two years to get a solution in place. So let's now go take a look at the sanctuary and see where we're installing these. So this is our historic sanctuary, and you can see we've got these hanging pendant fixtures um, that are glass around the side and the bottom, and then they've got metal going down the sides. And I'll include some pictures in the video um, up close. And this is one of the old incandescent bulbs. And this over here is one of the new um, LED um, setups. And you can see Jim in the distance. He's installing one of the last sets we need to do. Um, He's taking out the old bulb and putting in the new fixture. Uh, he, we put in the top three bulbs first and then screw in the remaining three once it's in. 
That way you can re easily reach the fixture to do that. So here we are, we're putting in the socket um, or the fixture and you screw it in without the bottom bulbs on so that you can actually reach and hold and get the bulbs in there. And then you go ahead and once that's in there nice and tight, um, screw in each of the individual bulbs and then you're all set. Hopefully for the next 20 or 30 years all we'll have to do is occasionally clean the glass of the fixture um, and we'll be set. Here's the aftermath of breaking down the boxes for recycling after the bulbs. These are the old, three of the old ones. Um, this is a box of empty bulb boxes just so um, in case we need to return them. Uh, we'll probably dispose of those in a little while once we figure out that they're or confident that everything works. And we'll show you more online.